The first shotgun I ever bought was a Browning Satori. Great gun then, maybe an even better gun now. Scott Grange, this is the latest version of the Satori over and under, and we got to at least mention that Browning, John Browning, invented the over and under shotgun. That's right, plain and simple. Yeah, just uh, the superposed was it. The Satori has been in the line for how long now? Oh, since uh, 1972. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great, great gun, strong, used in competition, used for hunts all over the world, but you're not sitting on your laurels. What do we have here? That's right. Unlike, if anybody knows the Satori, they know right. the 325, 425, 525, 625, right. okay? Those guns were all pretty much the same thing as far as the engine. We call it sure. the engine goes right. and, and the barrel for the most part. Choke yeah. tube design, in yeah. vector different plus stocks, whatnot. Different stocks, different finishes. Different, yeah. Exactly. Okay. 725 is a totally new system, Tom. 725, okay. okay. What it employs, unlike the old Browning superposed and all the Satori before it, it employs mechanical triggers. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. okay, how many times have we checked, we pull the trigger on a Satori, and then you have to bang the stock to get the inertia system to work. On this one, you just pull the trigger the second time. That's right. Another benefit of mechanical triggers is a little more enhanced trigger, a little cleaner trigger. Okay. So we're able to give the consumer that. Also, if you're hunting, you pull the trigger and you get a dead shell, nothing happens, and the birds are still coming in, you just pull it again That's right. and you're there. That's right. There's, so there's some d definite benefits to the mechanical okay. trigger. Well, I'm going to tell you the thing that got my attention, right, is you have a shallower receiver here. We do. And it's measured very small, but you can feel it's a huge difference. In a firearm, subtle little differences make a big difference. Right. Okay. We took uh, almost an eighth of an inch out of the bottom of that receiver. Now, we didn't jeopardize integrity by doing That's that. We just right lowered the profile on the bottom of the receiver. Okay. Okay. Now, we have the lowest profile receiver on the market, the Synergy. Right. We have the 725 is in between it and the and the regular Satori. Right. Which okay. Is, so we have all three. So no matter which one you like, and, and it's really a matter of personal preference. Oh, absolutely. Not only that, but but it it puts your hands closer to the bore center line. Right. It it, it, it makes you one with the gun. We want we would like to think it's a little racier system. Yeah. A sleek, slender, it racy. It feels good. Oh, I mean, it's you, awesome. you put it to your shoulder. It feels good. Now this is the Hunter version, right? This is. We also make it in a uh, sporting clays version as well. And what's the difference there? Okay, mainly. Uh, you have different choke tubes that come with it. Okay. In the Sporting Clays gun, you have a backboard barrel like this has, but you also have porting in a, in a Sporting Clays okay, gun. Probably uh, an option of longer barrels. Uh, longer barrels, uh, out to 32 inches. Right. Yeah. And of course, different aesthetics uh, and whatnot. Sure, the dressing is going to be a little bit yes. different. Although, yes. this is beautiful. I mean, this is a gorgeous piece of wood, and Browning's almost always have very nice wood. They, they generally do. Yeah, generally speaking. So, this is the 725? Yes, it is. All right, the newest Satori oh, from Brown. Oh, new and exciting. Oh. Saw that? <laughs> Shot the broken piece. Oh. The Satori over and under, one of the best shotguns made out there, and real shotgun shooters know this, most of them own a Satori. Well, I really like what they've done with this new gun, especially the good trigger. If you think about it, why wouldn't you want a good trigger on your shotgun? You're trying to hit a flying object oh. with flying pellets. That's not easy to do. You need precision, and you want the gun to go off exactly when you need it to to make that shot. So. Putting a good trigger in this gun is something that obviously is done by people who are real shooters, real hunters. Oh. 